Good evening, ladies and gents. Oh, sorry, ladies and germs. Uh, Chris Frog here from the Pissing Frog Brewery. I'm doing a long way in South Yorkshire. With beer number. Beer number 10 from the um, Smash Challenge 2014 or 2014 Smash Challenge. Sorry. Um, we have Gert crawling on the floor coming for more wine. <laughs> so just bear with me while, oh dear, while I pour. There we go, more wine. Sorry about that, that's a, um, she's not flashing her tits now. <laughs> PJs on. We've got PJs on. Sorry, guys. Um, we have from Shad's Brewery, Smash the State. This is a smash beer brewed with tipple pale malt and cascade pellet hops. Brewed using natural Lake District spring water. So I'm guessing Shad come from the northwest fermented with saff brew t58 yeast brewed by john berry on the 1st of february 2014 bottled the 8th of february so a very short fermentation time on 8th february 2014 we've got 4.7 percent abv so among the lighter end of the um the smash beers um I think Clive's is the highest there at 8%. And you've all seen what I thought about Clive's um, offering. Very nice indeed. So, without further ado, let's crack this open. Good luck, Shad's Brewing. Oh, Shad's Brewery. Nice kiss there coming from the bottle. Good carbonation. Obviously, a bit of cannon smoke. Oh, that is a very pleasant aroma coming out of the bottle. Maltiness mixed with that cascade hop aroma. Excuse me while I just adjust the camera. That's very pleasant. Quite perfumed. Let's give it a pour. Clean glass. Go for it. Lovely pale. Straw. I'm trying to get a head on this. It's not actually wanting to arrive. I'm not going to go too far because there's. Yeast inclusion coming in there. Right. I would say that that's a straw, pale straw colour. Not much head. Now, whether that's anything to do with the way that I rinse the glass or whether the way I've poured it, I don't know. However, it's not necessarily about this, it's about what it smells like and what it tastes like. So, There's a good balance of hop and malt aroma in that. I'm not going to swirl it around too much because this I've poured nearly 500 mils into this 750 glass. It's, the heads want it to come back. As I get further down the glass, I'll, I'll swirl and see what happens. So that is a, a really nice perfumed aroma. John, you've got a good beer. Uh, from appearances, the um, clarity is ish, but hey, it's not necessarily what it looks like, it's what it tastes like. In commercial beers, it's all about the eyes, 
over the the taste and the aroma. But let's go for this, shall we? Hmm. That's unusual. I can only assume, and to assume makes an ass out of you and me, that the flavour that's coming off this is the malt. Now, I've never tasted tipple pale. And if I've never tasted it before, I'm going to get hold of some of this because this is actually a very nice pale malt flavour. It marries well with the Cascade. It's light in flavour. With a good bittering, it's balanced. And excuse me. Sorry, John. Your carbonation's a little excessive for me. It's lager esque. Lager in style of carbonation. It's too heavy. Otherwise, the beer, just going purely on the beer. For a pale, excellent colour. Flavour is is good. Um, the aroma, I can only assume that that's the mole aroma coming off there. It's very unusual. Excellent carbonation in respect of keeping the beer good. A little bit too gassy for me, sorry man. Good beer doesn't detract from the taste or the aroma. That aroma is just something different. It really is. I don't like I say. I don't know whether it's the malt or the Cascade hop, um, or a combination of the two. It's very nice. It is sweet, citrusy, and then the yeast adds something. To, that's that's the thing that's coming through. The T fifty eight yeast is coming through, and it gives you that sharpness of aroma. Wheat beer, another, excuse me, another uh, wheat beer aroma. Using that T58 yeast is just sort of just added a little bit of um, a different aspect to this beer. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Can't fault it. Same as uh, Harry's beer previous. Nothing wrong with the beer at all. It's just different and this you've changed things around you've mixed things up you've gone left field if you like using that t58 t58 uh, yeast that i don't know what's obviously it's a smash style but i don't know what you were aiming at i'm presuming sort of wheat beer type um Beer, beer type beer, beer. beer. Uh, but yeah, that works for me. Um, again, four point seven percent, so it's not as heavyweight as some of the previous beers. That is a nice backyard drinking beer or back garden drinking beer for the weather we've had today. The weather we've had today is. Blistering here in the UK. That comes back as a wheat beer would do. 
the aromas coming off that are something different. They really are. It's really nice. Sweet. Almost bubblegum. Yeah. Anglo bubblegum. If anybody in the UK remembers Anglo bubblegum. It's almost that. Banana-y. Ish. John, that's a really nice beer. Really light beer. Drinking. Um, and I would... I, I think I would brew that. I think I would brew that as a an alternative to my uh, normal repertoire. Swelling it more than I should be drinking it. Christ, we're all in. No, I like that. As people have um, probably observed on previous videos of mine, I'm not a big wheat beer fan. Or wheat beer style fan. However, I could sink a few of those and not be uh, I'd not be too upset about it either. That's a nice beer job. So Shad's Brewery, coming out of wherever, uh, I presume the Northwest. Oh yeah, brewed in support of LGBT athletes and supporters at Sochi 2014. LGBT. Good cause. That, sir, is a good beer. You've had the longest video so far and I would recommend that beer to anyone that wants to try it. Uh, sadly I want to get one more bottle. So it looks like it's just going to be me and Gert that tries it. So I've been Chris Frog. You guys have been awesome as always. And I will catch you all tomorrow on the flip side. I've had enough beer for today. Thank you very much. Cheers John. Cheers everybody else. Bye for now.